Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Ricardo Gardner, Black Tech Tips. You can check out the website, links in the description. All right, for today, we're looking at how you can actually perform a hard drive upgrade or you can actually do a SSD upgrade on a laptop. Now, we have done these in the past. I'll put a link to one of those previous videos where you can actually check out how to actually do it on um, a different model. Now, for today, this is a easy procedure, relatively, because um, we have an easy access hatch on the back of the laptop. And what we're going to actually do is to actually get out the hard drive. Now, in two cases, if you look on the back and you do see an easy access hatch like this, or in this area, or this area, what you're going to want to do is to actually check out the other video, as that means that your hard drive is deep within the laptop and you'll have to go through some extra steps, all right? But in case you have an easy access hatch that looks like this, simply follow along, all right? So first thing you're going to do is to remove the screw here. And you're going to actually remove the box. All right. Um, over here, you have your RAM or your memory. We're not going to focus on that for today. You can check out um, a link to my other video on that. Um, how to actually work with that and change those. All right. If you look over to your left over here, you'll notice we have the hard drive. Now, this hard drive is actually set into place. All right. You notice there's a tab here and actually lock the hard drive is actually screwed into place all right so i'm going to actually remove these screws that's one and yours might have a different mechanism for actually holding in the laptop so you'd have to actually pay attention right? to the design and just figure out how to actually get it out. So the first thing you know is that I've slide it um, backwards because it says here install, you push it forwards, all right? So it's kind of intuitive, so you have to figure out that. And of course, it slide from the connector and I'm just gonna slide this out. Okay. So I guess based on this design, I have to lift it from this end. All right, see, so Basically, it has a retention um, screw here, slide it backwards and up. So yours might work a little different. Also, the housing mechanism might be a little bit different, all right? So this is actually, in case you want to know which model this is, uh, Inspiron 3421, all right? Back to the hard drive. Now, here we have the hard drive itself. This is a typical 500 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive. You can actually pick these up online. You can probably get them for about 50 US dollars or so, all right? If you notice the hard drive itself has a protective shield here so when you're going to change this all you're going to do is you'll have to remove the actual outer housing which is this protective section so in case i'm doing a laptop um ssd upgrade or so on all right so you're going to remove this this is quite easy all right and of course here we have the hard drive all right so if in case i'm going to change this out you'll actually get the get rid of the damaged one all right and then replace it with the ssd or if it's a new one you'll actually switch it in at this time all right i don't need to do that i'm just this is for the demonstration purposes so we're going to slide on back the hard drive cage I might have to just pause a bit um, until this is actually fitted back up all right, so we're back. As I said, um, I've screwed on back the cage. Um, if it's a new uh, um, hard drive, you'd actually just um, put this back right in. And remember, in this case of the Dell Inspiron 3421, you'd have to just slide it in from this angle. So in from this angle. Then gently lower it. Remember, these are susceptible to shock. And once you're satisfied that it is all the way in, you're gonna actually just slide this back into place all right i made a slight mistake so i'm just gonna adjust this all right so um as i was saying before it slides right in from this angle then back and what you're gonna use the tab and slide it all the way up um, Sometimes you'd have to just watch out for these tabs. They'll sit flush, but as long as they're not being obstructed or so on, it should be fine, as long as it lines. 
So here, what you're gonna do is apply pressure. And it should um, slide all the way up here, and if it should be snug, you should not be seeing any connection or connectors. You get your screw right here. Hope you have a magnet if you have a magnetized tip. If you don't, you can just get a magnet, something like that, and magnetize the tip of this slightly. Then make sure the screw holds and begin screwing back the hard drive in. Then you get the back. slide in and make sure it's snug you get the screw that you took out All right and you install a box so if you have a new hard drive you need to reinstall windows we have um, articles to that on the website you can check those out or if this was just for practice or so on or for a quick repair or something uh, you could just as long as the OS is on the drive it will boot right back up Alright, so guys, this has been a tutorial from Black Tech Tips. Please check out the website. Alright, it's Ricardo saying goodbye.